Sister Tamara, are you present? In the BSU? Come on over here, everybody. Historically in this country, for the last 40 years, the black student unions on their college campuses have been the leaders, training everybody else and exposing them. It's rough, I know, you're sweating. But this is how we get there. When you feel uncomfortable, you got to move out of that comfort zone. Right. And do what you got to do. Even yeah, Moses, sir. when God gave him his orders, he said, God, I can't talk, I can't walk. To represent you, God said, I'm with you. You can do anything as long as I'm with you. Just say a word of encouragement to your fellow students. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm here on behalf of my student body. Hello. I'm here on behalf of my student body. This past Friday, I have experienced something that I never want to experience again. Um, I know most of us were in attendance. I was in attendance by myself. Take your time, bro. But my, my first thought was everybody else in that room that I knew personally and how it would affect us and how it is affecting us. Um, most of us have class with Jessica, me, myself. It took everything for me to go to class Tuesday and not see her right beside me or right in front of me. And I know it's hard for our student body. Take your time. It's all good. It's all good. I didn't personally know her, but I was personally getting to know her. I knew that she was supporting BSU this year. She came to our bake sale, and when you see somebody one day, you don't see them again. It does something that and no child should ever experience. Amen. I just want to say that to my student body, I'm with you. For those who knew her more than me, you have me at any cost. I am yours. Um, to everybody out here on behalf of us, thank you so much because this means so much to us. To you, she, to me even, she might have just been somebody to get used to, but this is somebody's child. It takes, people might think it takes years or days or hours to know how special someone, but it takes a second to know how special someone is and she's special to us, so thank you. over all of those who contemplate violence. And we would ask him to send down some angels and knock some sense into their heads if necessary. I thought when a black man, at least a man who, a black man got into the White House, I was praying for a miracle that some brothers would lose the spirit of violence, that it would drop off of them out of respect for who was at the top. It ain't happening, so we're going to have to do what we've always done as a people. Pull up, gird our loins, and take to the streets. Take those streets back. Our women and our children deserve a peaceful place to walk, to talk, and to worship. We cannot have the demon, the devil, coming up from within our community. I thank God for organizations like People Organized for Progress and POP and the New Black Panther Party. Because where others fear to go, they step right into it. So we thank you on behalf of the Seton Hall community for y'all stepping into the gap this afternoon. Let's bow our heads. Open our hearts. Heavenly Father, you've not given any one of us a spirit of fear. We wouldn't be where we are today if we hadn't stepped out. Hold our hands. Gird us up. Make us strong. Make the men who are out here, give them a new vision of themselves. Men have to protect the streets. Men must protect their homes. They must protect the women and the children. This is the godly mandate that you give to us. Stretch out your wings, God. So that as the brothers and sisters of old, we can get under there and get some protection. At the end of the day, we'll be so pleased to give you all of the glory that you deserve. You, we are your creation. And I know sometimes you must be a sick and tired of how we act sometimes. But some few of us, Lord, try to stand upright, say the right thing and do the right thing. 